Welcome to the NFL Network. I'm your host, Ben Gensenberg, alongside Brett Simpson and Matt Greco. And today, we'll be going over our playoff predictions and a possible sleeper team for the AFC and NFC. Brett, who are your sleeper teams? For the AFC, I'd have to go with the Texans. Uh, Jadavion Clowney got hurt early, and we all know what J.J. Watt can do, so uh, that's why I picked the AFC team for the Titan, uh, Texans. My NFC team would be the Rams. They just got a new quarterback in, in uh, Nick Foles. And they also have a promising defense. Uh, Matt, who are your sleeper teams? My AFC sleeper team is the Jets. They uh, got a few new divisions, and their division is getting easier with Tom Brady and the Flake Gate and everything else going on. And um, the NFC is the Panthers. They have uh, one of the best defenses in the NFL. Cam Newton's getting a lot better, and their offense could definitely take them somewhere. My sleeper team for the AFC is the Dolphins. They had an OK season at 8-8 eight eight last year. Uh, they added Dominican Sue on the defense, so now I have the, the Dominican Sue and, and Cameron Wake rushing the passer. So they'll have a really nice defense to work along with Ryan Tannehill, who is an upcoming star. For the NFC, I have the Cardinals. They were a good team last year, but they didn't make it far in the playoffs. So that's why they count as a sleeper team. Carson Palmer will be back healthy. They could go a long way in the playoffs. Matt, what is your AFC championship prediction? Um, I had in Indianapolis and New England my um, in the AFC Championship. The Patriots still are going to be able to win their division. It's not the hardest division. It's probably one of the easiest divisions, actually. And uh, the Colts have one of the best receiving cores in the NFL right now. And Andrew Locke is one of the best quarterbacks, too. What's your AFC prediction, Brett? My AFC prediction would be the Patriots and the Ravens. Uh, the Ravens had a tough uh, break last year, uh, being up by 14 twice against New England, but New England pulled it off with their great team. And I also just think New England's going to make it again because they have, in my mind, the best team in the NFL, even without Revis and what's all going on with the flake gate. Jimmy Garoppolo is still going to manage to win two games at least, and that's why I picked them. Yeah, I agree with Matt. I say that Colts and the Patriots. The Colts are going to be good this year. They have Andrew Luck, who, who I think will win the MVP award this year. Uh, I think they'll have a solid year. Their defense will be a little bit better than last year. The Patriots will be the Patriots. I mean, they're, they're good every year. No matter what happens, they always find a way to win. Um, Matt, what are your NFC predictions? I think that uh, I'm going to go with Green Bay and uh, Carolina right now. Carolina's the best defense. Defense wins championships. And uh, Aaron Rodgers, best, uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, if not the best. I think he's going to be able to take his team to the Brett, what are your NFC? I'm going with the repeat, uh, Green Bay versus Seattle. I just think Seattle has an unbelievable defense. Uh, in my mind, they are the best uh, over the over the Panthers. But uh, Russell Wilson, he has some uh, things to prove now. Uh, he gave up that pick in uh, the Super Bowl, which wasn't a great call, but uh, he has some things to show. And they also just picked up uh, Jimmy Graham from the uh, the Saints, which uh, should be uh, helpful to. Uh, I agree with Brad. Green Bay, Seattle. Two best teams in the NFC, flat out. As Brett said, Seattle picked up Jimmy Graham. They got Marshawn Lynch. Um, they got Jermaine Curse, Russell Wilson. Their defense is great, always going to be great. They got Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas. They just have a really good team. Then Green Bay, they got Aaron Rodgers, best QB in the NFL right now. Uh, he found no weakness in the Seattle defense last year in the NFC Championship, right like in the linebacking. He was able to make short passes and gain a lot of yards that way. So I think Aaron Rodgers uh, will have success in that game. What is your Super Bowl prediction? I have Aaron the winner. Colts and the Packers, and I think the Packers are going to win it just because they have the experience necessary. Andrew Luck doesn't have enough experience. We saw it last year in the AFC Championship against the Patriots, and I think uh, Rodgers will be able to win the Super Bowl for them. Brett, what are your predictions? Um, originally, I had Green Bay versus Baltimore, but actually I'm going to go with Green Bay versus the Patriots. I think the Patriots have... Um, the 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 best all around team in the NFL. They have a lot of good uh, depth in their team, but I just think the Packers are going to win because Aaron Rodgers. It's uh, due for him to win again and finally come out on top. I think my Super Bowl prediction is the Colts versus the Seahawks. I had the Packers going all the way, but after thinking about it, the Seahawks are just too good. After picking up Jimmy Graham, they just have everything they need to win another title. Russell Wilson will have to step up and have a really good year. Uh, I have them playing the Colts. The Colts' defense isn't good enough to stop Jimmy Graham, Marshawn Lynch, Russell Wilson. They just they have too many. They now have too many guys 
the Colts won't be able to handle it. It'll be a close game, but the uh, Seahawks will come up on top. So that's all the time we have. Thank you for watching, and have a good night.